Great. Uh, as you are uh, going through the timeline of the COVID-19, uh, I have two questions um, related to that. So are all schools required to report in the updates to the government? And also, on what platform uh, has YK Powell School um, down, or all the citizens down the codes of the color? Well, all yeah. right, let me rephrase. No, all, uh, just to answer your questions quickly, all, all schools have to report because all citizens have to report. Um, yeah, so private or, or, or public would need to make a report through to the, uh, the Education Bureau. And in terms of what platform, um, it's largely on Alipay. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you want to go into a bar or to a restaurant after they've reopened, you have to demonstrate that you've got a green code on your Alipay um, 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 a mini program which runs within it. It's a really impressive system. Another great example of how Chinese technology is way ahead of the globe in terms of being able to register everybody. All sorts of issues to do with uh, you know, um, personal data and so on, but at the same time, in a, in a crisis like this, it's a fantastic way of making sure that everybody is, has been processed. And if you're not processed, you don't go into a building. Yeah, thank you. Uh, please proceed. Okay, um, um, I'll take, quickly take you through Power School's response. Um, as I mentioned before, at the point of the outbreak, we're approaching Chinese New Year. Um, so here is a few um, key milestones for our school. The first letter um, from Pao School went out on January 20th. This is um, coincide with the outbreak and the national panic. This is, uh, and the letter from um, executive headmaster, which is David, is to inform the community of what's going on and, and the school's preparations. Um, January 23rd is our last day of the semester. This is when everyone leaves campus. And as David will explain later, this creates challenges because a lot of our staff and students are overseas because of the Chinese New Year. Um, we kicked back in right during the Chinese New Year break. The first letter from, from David um, informing school closures um, until February 17th went out on January 27th. So it's right um, a few days after Chinese New Year. Our online learning started February 10th uh, as previous schedule. This was our first day of school. And as of yesterday, we're approaching the mid semester mark. So our middle school and high school uh, have started distributing the report cards. Yeah, we, we basically have not missed the day's uh, schooling. Um, we've, as soon as our term started, we went online. And we've continued online, I think getting better and better at it week on week, just finished our seventh week, next week will be our eighth week. And then we're taking a short break um, before we move into the second half of the semester. Uh, 